Many gathered this morning to celebrate a New Zealand first. The Armstrong disappearing gun at the Otago Peninsula was awarded New Zealand's first engineering heritage award by the UK-based Institution of Mechanical Engineers. The gun came to Dunedin in 1889 to provide defence for the city. Weighing five tonnes and capable of firing a 100-pound shell 8,000 yards each minute. It is only the sixth time the award has been granted to an artefact outside the United Kingdom that is seen as a great accomplishment. I, I think this is a significant event for the Dunedin City and the Otago Peninsula Trust. Uh, this is a, a unique award, never presented before in New Zealand, uh, and only five times has it pre been presented outside the UK. This is really a significant achievement. Smith says the achievement puts the gun in the company of the Tower Bridge in London, the E-Type Jaguar and the Vulcan Bomber as significant global engineering achievements. The gun was able to be moved above ground to fire its shot before returning below ground to be reloaded and aimed. The gun was restored by the Antiques Arms Group and the Fort Committee of the Otago Peninsula Trust and was made open to the public in 1987. Smith says the gun's condition and uniqueness make it a worthy recipient of the award. I think the special thing is it is complete and in its original site, and that is important. That makes it unique. There are very few Armstrong guns, I think, left in the world, but none in its original site and in such pristine condition. The gun was decommissioned at the end of World War II and abandoned to rust. Some suggested the gun should be taken to Dunedin and mounted on the foreshore. However, the Antiques Arms Group intervened and felt it was best kept at its natural home. Work then took place to restore the machinery, returning it to its former glory. A uh, huge, huge amount. It was all done by volunteers, spare time, led by Jack Joyce and the Antique Arms, and they spent a huge amount of time. The gun was last shot in practice in 1943 and Stewart says it is still possible the gun could be fired today, however feels this is unlikely. But despite no longer having the firepower, it now has some serious international recognition. John McKenzie, 39, Dunedin News.